Creativity Corner TV. We're your hosts, Don Manuel. And Deborah. And we are here with another live episode of... Yum Yum. Yum Yum. Okay, so, um, well, a couple of things. One, the Yum Yum box is pink this month. Um, don't know why. And also, our Yum Yum box has seen better days. And um, we'll talk about that. Uh, in just a minute, I'm going to share this video out. I know Don Mamala is sharing it out as well, um, so that our friends can join us. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to do one other thing because I noticed something. Uh oh. Silly me. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. You happy now? Yep. Okay. What were we unhappy about? There was a pole in the middle of our frame. <laughs> a whole pole. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So we're almost done. I only share it one time, so here we go. All right. So February Yum Yum Box. Super excited about our Yum Yum Box. And, um, hi, Mo. Yeah, Mo's making a lot of noise. Mo would like to be on the table, and he is allowed to do that when we're playing with Lego, but he is not allowed to do that. Uh, so, correction. Not that he's allowed to do that when we're playing with Lego. He does that when we're playing with Lego. He does that when we're playing with Lego. So. And, um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, we don't like him to be up here when we have food, because, ew, right? So, no one wants to get here. Okay, so it's pink. We don't know why it's pink, and it's mushed. So, let me tell you the story of the mushed yum yum box. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to do the key. So, you may, we live in New, upstate central New York where it has done nothing but snow for it seems like ever now. We have so much snow when we live, over three feet of snow. We can't shovel it anymore. The snow banks are too high to heave it up over. It's, it's horrible. And there was a big Pokemon event on Saturday, okay? Um, Canto Day. 12 hours of Pokemon. I played Pokemon for I could have driven to North Carolina to see my grandchildren in the amount of time I played Pokemon on Saturday. Anyway, apparently sometime while I was out playing Pokemon, and he was sleeping, uh, the Yum Yum box was delivered. And usually what our mail carrier does is, if it's snowy or wet or whatever, he put it in a, in like a plastic bag and they put it on this little rocker thing that's next to our garage door okay this did not happen yum yum box was tossed in the snow and then it snowed because all it does is snow all over the top of yum yum box and then i got home from playing pokemon at nine o'clock at night pulled into the garage here i go right because nothing had been shoveled or anything yet and then i get out to close the garage door and i see something pink and our Yum Yum box got um, run over. Yeah, it did. So it's been wet. It's been run over. It's pink. And it's filled with snackies. And we're going to hope that they're... So, I guess in, in fair spirit, you know, it's Ukraine. Okay. Sorry, Ukraine. Apparently we've just been crunching all over you. And our sticker... It says, um, this V-Day, I found eternal love with Ukrainian yums. Well, hence the pink box. All right. Oh, oh come on. That's Valentine's. cute. Oh, that's come cute. On. Okay, so we, um, we, don't, we don't do this. We do it the old-fashioned way. We do best yum, second best, most unique, and worst yum. So our crushed, um, oh, gosh. Um, oh, gosh. All right, love. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this. Yeah, we are. Um, so this first snack, you know, I like to do savory first and finish with sweet. Um, this is potato sn shaped snack. They're oval with the flavor of veal and ajika. Ajika. It's giving me ajita, thinking about trying veal and ajika flavored chips. All right. Well, this is Ukrainian spice beef obsession and a chip. Time for another hot commentary. Ajika. I don't know if I can eat it. <laughs> this punchy paste made with red pepper, garlic, and herbs and spices like coriander wait, and wait. dill. No, it actually ori originated from Georgia, the country. Okay. Not the state. Here you go. 
I don't read the whole thing. I just read highlights. (coughs) Okay. Y'all, they smell vile. (coughs) Vile. They smell vile. Barbecue, right? No, not barbecue. Vile. They smell like. They smell like. Almost like tuna fish. Vile. Smells like roast beef. Vile. Okay, here we go. No. That's not bad. No. It tastes like potted meat. Tastes like summer. Mm-mm. It does not taste like summer. It tastes like potted meat. Like yucky, yucky, yucky. I wish these had been on the side of the yummy box that I ran over. Look, look they didn't even... <laughs> they still had their shape. <laughs> they got ran over and they still got their shape. Well, that's terrible. Okay. Um, so let's do these. These are homemade bread chips with garlic. Like, I get the roast beef, right? Like roast beef. That's what I tasted. Potted meat, blah, barf. Don't Pot do it. Potted meat, roast beef, salt bread. Okay, so these are rye bread chips with garlic flavor. They are double bagged. Huh. There's a bad joke in there somewhere about condoms, but you know what I'm saying. Double bag it sometimes, y'all. Okay. Oh, gosh. So these are roasted garlic rye chips. Time for a riddle. This yummy package is in reference to Ukraine's most popular food found on bakery shelves in iconic brown paper bags. Do you know what it is? Drum roll, please. It's bread. I love bread. It's bread. I love bread. The bread basket of Europe. (laughs) Is what Ukraine is known as. Woo! Got a little kick to it. Woo! Got a big kick to it. Fertile black soil, which produces 82 million tons of grain in 2019 alone. So they're about their grain life. Woo! Okay. It's like a like a crouton almost. Okay, great for salad, sure, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So bag for your protection. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is that is not gonna go away anytime soon. All right, wasabi. This one's a little crushed. I hate wasabi. Let's just start there. So we got wasabi chip strips. Can you handle Ukrainian's spiciest chip? All right, so this is Ukrainian's spiciest. Chip. Seriously, feel this end? They're totally destroyed. Oh man, we got wasabi. <laughs> Chip strip flakes. We're going to open it from the other side. (laughs) So Ukrainians can handle their spice. Exhibit 1. Exhibit A. One of the most popular alcoholic drinks. Paroka. Paroloka? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Literally means burning water. It is infused with red hot chili peppers. Exhibit B. This yum. Okay. Okay. So it's got green wasabi. Can you stretch there? With the arms. No. Green wasabi flakes on it. It is very thin. Oh, well done. See that little greenery in there? That's a little bit of. It's not mold. Okay. Wasabi. I do not like wasabi. I don't like spice like that. All but right. I'm going to try this for you. Don't matter what got him, Mr. Roboto. You can hate wasabi, she says. Oh. Okay. That's not super spicy at all. That's not spicy at all. Nope, that's a big no for me. That's oh. a no. Oh, it's a little spicy on that side. No, oh hell no. It's a no. It's nope, a no, 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 no. It is very, it is very, it's very no. Okay, the rest of these look savory. All right. I mean, sweet. I'm all confused now. Yeah, you are. You crushed the box. Flutter. <laughs> okay, so this is a no. So she didn't was digging the wasabi. Definitely can taste like the Very horseradish, light, that flavorful. wasabi horseradish flavor. Yucky. If you like no. wasabi, you're gonna like it. Yeah. yeah. I'm indifferent to wasabi. This is usually, we got our rolls reversed here. Yeah, but I'm doing great at it. Okay. Fine. Is he doing great at it? 
I Let think it so. Get better with you know our roles reversed. Just give us some information, letting you guys know some some random tidbits, like Please you know, know. Ukraine is known as the breadbasket of Europe. Okay, these Poor are also a mush, so these were on the mushed side, but it's okay. Because they're gummies. Because they're gummies. They're just they're a little mush, but there are so many like beautiful colors and flavors. And what color would you like? So we got summer fruit jellies. Yeah. Summer in Kaif with pear, yeah. apricot, and more. Ooh, I love apricot. So dairy is hardly one thing Ukrainians are traditionally pros at preserving. They're experts with fruit, too. Berries are boiled into sweet jams known as... Vereni? Where are you? Right there. I have no clue. It's Ukrainian. All right. Apricots, peaches, are dried. So we got some apricots, we got some peaches, and we got some berries. What color are you gonna have? We're gonna have berries there for cherries. Look at that! Look at that little cherry gummy. No, oh, these are delicious looking. I'm gonna try this color. This hey, like Mel. Might be peach, but I'm welcome, hoping welcome, for. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think your ears are ringing. We we're just talking about you. Try a different kind. She didn't like the apricot. That's a peach. It's very peach. I wasn't ready for it. Let me try. Yeah, you're gonna love it. I'm trying to read They're amazing balls, right? I like the cherry one. Mmm. I like the Rima. They are not gummy gummy, like aren't aren't gummy, you know? Very soft. They're very soft. Really They're yummy. very smooth. Bonus to 25% juice. Whoa! Yeah, they are. 25% juice. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right gummy yummy. Fair. I haven't tried the fair one. You get a little dummy dance. Have you tried the fair one? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing the yummy dance. That is pear. That is straight pear in a gummy. That is. This is the most pear. Pear. Pear I've ever tasted. Pear wishes it tasted that pear. Like this is oh my. Okay. That's a yummy pear right there. I love it. The green I is bagging. It. The green is delicious. I haven't tried the green one. I did here. You try it. I, it was so good. I ate it all myself. Oh, it's an apple. It's delicious. Okay. All right. This got a little. It's got a little run over too, but it's delicious, right? What's this? It's like Granny Smith. I have no. You gotta look it up because this is all in Ukrainian or Russian or whatever. What language do Ukrainians speak? Ukrainian, Russian, mm. both. All right. So this is Ukrainians' dairy delights: Ooh. sweetened condensed milk cream cakes, creamy, rich, and drizzled with local cacao. Okay, I The pear was that. mind blowing, right? Oh, you bite the pear and it was like, I bit into a pear. So this is a delightful little cake. All right. Some squiggles on it. Sometimes super sweet things can come out of real dark times. And this yum is proof. Story of my life. There's a story of my life in one sentence. Sometimes very sweet things can come out of very dark times. All right. So after World War II, Ukrainian faced food storages that forced folks to get creative in the kitchen, especially for desserts, which is where sweetened condensed milk or shagalyushka comes in handy. Locals used it to stick things, bits of leftover baked goods, making simple and sweet no-bake cakes. So there you go. Smells delicious. They took some cake, put some condensed milk in it, and. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Tasty, but very dry. Super freaking tasty though, right? That's delicious. This is this is a perfect tea. Like you you eat this with mm. tea or coffee if you're into that. That's unfortunately we have water. Delicious. Oh my goodness. We didn't want to, you know, manipulate our taste buds any, so that's just Okay, so I gotta say uh, perfect with Ukraine. Terrible with the savory snacks. The sweet snacks so far, though, mm -hmm. holy yum. That pear, though. That can pear, we, can though. We, can we, get can back, we talk about can that? Can we talk pear? about that pear, though? No, we are gonna move on. Oh, uh, this is a little. This is um. This is disintegrated on one side, but I think the other side is gonna be okay. In case you're just tuning in, I ran over the yum yum box, so it is not my fault. Coffee for sure has a sort of milk would taste, right? All right, so this is the baked milk and dark chocolate wafer. Taste the famous baked milk caramel. 
Can you, can you show people how the yums look oh, on the side of the box no. that gets run over? So this is what they look like, where half is on the side that got run over, and and half yep. is okay. So, yeah. Run over? Okay. All right. <laughs> Shuffle some of that in your mouth. That pear, though. Uh-uh. Okay, so this is one of those like wafer cookies, like I usually don't like. All right. But here, I'm just gonna let you try that like that. I'm gonna get this right here. All right. Okay. So, ever had an intense desire to simmer milk for over eight hours? Probably not, unless you're Ukrainian. <laughs> That's the process behind making these built, uh, baked, milked, and delicious locally breakfast. But they are a wafer cookie. Um, so like those thin wafer things, the ones that I usually don't like at all. I think one time I've actually liked it. Um, but here we go. And uh, we'll be using uh, chocolate wafer cookies in Snoop Dogg's uh, chocolate cheesecake that we'll be making in three weeks. Um, it's a wafer. Okay, I don't hate it. It's a wafer, right? I don't it's love a, it. It's a good wafer. I, I'm not sad that the other half is destroyed. It's a, it's, a, it's a super thick wafer. Okay. Like most wafers, you get it like half the size of that. So that wasn't bad. Is this another one? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to do this big bar. So that one... Unlike the other one, is dark chocolate and almond wafer. Okay. Not so long ago, almonds were considered an extraordinary nut in the Ukraine. Hold on, and we're have a wardrobe malfunction. Exclusively through the port of Odessa from far off Mediterranean destinations. So this is honking. Oh like, wow! So that's what that's what the other one was supposed to look like. <laughs> I need a hunt. Of the other one, the wafer. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, I think you're just going to take a bite, and I'm going to take a bite. All right. Don't bite me. Mm hmm? Hazelnut? It's hazelnut? It tastes like hazelnut. I hope it's hazelnut. Salmon. Mm. Salmon. Real, real grated almonds. Okay, well, it's delicious. Okay, I get behind that. Uh -huh. Once again, if you're just now tuning in, we are trying our Universal Yum box of February, which comes from the country of Ukraine. Ukraine. So these are Ukrainian uh, delights and snackies. This. this is huge. It's bigger than the other one. Both are really good to me. Thank you, hazelnut vibe. Okay, um, we're moving on. So this is a, a milk chocolate bar with creme brulee filling. Hello. Creme brulee white chocolate bar. The champagne of Ukrainian oh, chocolate. chocolate. Is that the wrong one? Yeah, you're doing, oh, you've got one. caramel bubble there. Nothing. Well, I was looking at the front. Okay. Oh, that one. Ah, there we go. Same company, different chocolate bar. So this is the creme brulee milk chocolate bar. Ukrainian's most decadent chocolate. You decide. I love creme brulee. If All it's right. available for dessert when we go out to dinner, I'm having it. You may be asking, isn't creme brulee French? And you'd be right. Ukrainian Ukraine has long taken inspiration from France. Just look at the country's most famous dish, chicken Kiev. In the 1840s, the Russian royals sent chiefs to Paris. So yeah, they just like they like Paris stuff. So we're gonna try this okay. Ukrainian creme brulee. That one's intact. Mine's a little mushed. Oh, mine's a little run over. Oh. It's very gooey in the middle. So much goo. All the goo. All the goo. All right. Hmm. That's good. Tastes like a Cadbury cream egg. Yeah. Cadbury cream egg. Yep. That's good. 
disappointing is, and weird. It's not creme brulee-y. You should not no, advertise cool. creme brulee if you don't taste that not creme brulee. Bad, not, yeah, so yeah, that's the thing. I don't I don't get the creme brulee. Mm -hmm. But Cadbury cream egg? Yeah. 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 The chocolate was decent. It was yeah. good, good milk chocolate. Yeah. You want to go back to what you were reading? Ah. Look at this, y'all. Caramel bubble. White chocolate bar. So this is the champagne of the Ukrainian chocolates. Okay. One of the world's largest confectionaries. Russian produces over 450 tons of treats every year. From chocolates to caramels to jellies to biscuits to cakes. The Willy Wonka has the mastermind behind it all. All right, so this is a... Uh, this is a so this got a little wrong over as well. But I want you to show them this because look at the middle. So airy. So airy. It's like a I don't know, sponge. Can you see that? Can you put your hand behind it like you did before the book. Yeah. It's a spongy. It looks like a sponge. Hmm. All right. Let's see what this is all, all about. All right. Caramel bubble. Mm, definitely, it's got bubbles. But. That is so weird. So it tastes weird to bite into bubbles? You can fill the bubbles in your bite. It feels solid, but it's not. It's airy. It's weird. It's good white chocolate. Mm -hmm. And don't come at us with the white chocolate's not chocolate. We know. Okay. It's, like it's good white chocolate. It's good for what it is. But it's, it's a weird... It's really fun to chew, right? It's a weird... That like, is so interesting. Huh. I think it's delicious. Yeah. But I love white chocolate. It's like it's there, but it's not. Don't come for me. Okay. That is just really interesting. Hmm. hmm. All right. Okay. We have some toffee. I love toffee. Toffee, toffee. Creamy toffee squares. Soft Ukrainian toffee Love and that. velvety cream filling. Mm. Ukrainians have been innovative with milky toffees and caramels for centuries. And not just because they're delicious, because they're practical. Well, there you go. I'm delicious. I love toffee. I love a toffee. All right. The whole, see the top? Got the top? She just wants to put it in. Go ahead. Mmm. Mmm. That was not the texture I was expecting. Right? Mm -hmm. Weird texture. It's almost like eating chocolate shavings. Variation helps lighten the flavor. Okay, right? Pretty good toffee. Mmm, <laughs> that toffee is light. I'm not mad at it. Can we talk about those pears? Though? <laughs> talk about that pear though. Okay, it's not my most favorite thing. Mm -hmm. The yum bag. What's in here? Oh, there's lots of. Mm -hmm. And we see we got some more Russian. Russian in? Am I saying it right? Mm, we got some fizzy booms. Fizzy booms. Now we got a couple flavors of fizzy booms. Mm -hmm. We got some minky binkies. Minky binkies. And then we got some Russian filled toffee. This is a minky binky. This is, I don't know what this, ooh, it's jelly. Ooh, it's jelly. I don't know minky binky. What is it like? Uh, I lost the oh. minky binkies. Oh, here's my minky binky. Minky binky. Mm -hmm. minky. We've got three flavors. Okay. We've got grape, strawberry, and whatever you're holding. All right. So, fruit juice filled caramel toffee. What? All right. So we got ap apricot, strawberry, blueberry, and orange. Minky Binky. A cartoon monkey. Toffee filled with fruit juice. We get it. This yum seems a little kooky. It does. The two factors that make this yum in its cities of Venetsi and Krimskonk. Sorry if I pronounced those wrong. Are responsible for producing 60% of all caramels in Ukraine. So they started monkeying around a bit with their basic product lineup combining fruit and toffee. Named it after a cartoon monkey called it Minky Binky. Who are we to judge? Especially after the results are so delicious. It's straight up bananas. So I'm going to have a blueberry one. 
So I don't know if y'all can see that. You got Minky Banky. I got a apricot one. Okay. Minky Banky's toffee fruit. Mm -hmm. Man, this thing's like a, a present. Da, 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 da. Pretty good. Toffee smells amazing. Tastes pretty good too. Mm. That's pretty good. Blueberry. I forgot subtle. The blueberry is not subtle. The apricot is subtle. Okay. It's very soft. Um, yeah, it's not a hard. Um, Hard toffee chew. This thing is like super, mm -hmm. super chewy. Yeah, blueberry, blueberry. Those are hard. So let's do soft. All right. These are crazy bees. Crazy bees. Jelly, juice filled fruit jellies. Mm. Okay. So pretty much the same idea from the last one. Once that toffee, we got fruit jellies. Ukrainian's fruit jelly is very, very tasty, enough to save a city. In fact, according to legend, the city of Belgrade, Kavisky, was under siege in the 10th century when an old prophet advised citizens to make two fake wells, the first well filled with me and the second filled with Kizbul, Ukrainian berry jelly. When the invaders arrived, they tasted the food and drink, seemed come to the earth itself. So impressed they left the city unharmed. Jelly. And you can see it's got something in the middle. See that in the light? Oh, that's the that's the jelly. Or the, the fruit juice. No, well, you can see the fruit juice darker than my jelly. I feel it in my jellies. All right, bonus points to anyone who in the comments can tell me where that's from. I feel it in my jellies. Look at that. All right. Ding, ding. I'm just taking a whole one. I'm going to go Oh my. Put them indeed. Look at that jelly center. I don't like it. You don't like the texture? No. You can see Danielle, who usually agrees with me, agrees with me. No, I don't like it at all. I'm not a fan. All right. All right, it's our last yum. Last yum. All right, guys. So if we have red and the orange, you want red or orange? All right. Right or left? We got the fizzy citrus candy bursting with Ukrainian lime, orange, and cola. Caitlin says Detective Pikachu. She's right. Get, to Pikachu. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's adorable. Get ready to pucker up with a different kind of bubbly invention. So I opened this, the whole room smells like orange already. Shippakum, 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 known as English speakers or fizzy boom. Fizzy boom. All right, fizzy boom. Let's fizzy boom it. I got cola, I guess. You got what? Cola. Okay. Yep, you do. I have orange. That's a hard one. That's cola. That's orange. As soon as I put it in my mouth. No fizzy yet though. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a fizzy. That's fizzy. Shakakun, shakakan. You like your fizzy? No fizzy no. I haven't got to the fizzy yet. Don't suck hard enough. He doesn't practice. So I gotta bite it? Go ahead. It squirts out the ends if you just suck on it. You get fuzzy both the oh. out of each end. No, you gotta bite it. You gotta Ah! Oh. I don't wanna make that face. I'm happy right now. So am I. Very fizzy. When you bite into it, it's very super. Ah, oh, see? That's the fizz. 
That's what she said, Mara. <laughs> you just gotta let it sit on the top of your tongue. No, you don't. Okay. <clears throat> That's so much fizz. Fizzy weirdo. Okay. So, uh, best yum, worst yum, yum, most unique, second best. All right, we'll start with the most unique. Um, hmm. Most unique. Oh, unique. that's easy. Was it the Minky Binkies? Minky Binky. Caramel filled. Uh, toffee. With, toffee, top, filled top, with toffee filled with fruit juice. That's just weird as fuck. It wasn't bad, though. Sorry, children. <laughs> this is weird as toffee. But anywho. <laughs> yeah, so... Minky Binky goes from the weirdest. Makes sense, too. Okay, Minky my Binky. weirdest is the weird bubble white chocolate. Okay. The, the, te the mm -hmm. texture. Delicious. I mm -hmm. love it, but it's weird so weird. Weird doesn't mean bad. Weird doesn't mean bad. Unique doesn't mean bad. Weird no. doesn't mean bad. Um, weird, though, but yeah. most unique. This bubble chocolate. Bubble white chocolate. So different. The wasabi okay. chips were weird. Yeah, they were. Well, okay. You, those those like are a weird one, too. Okay, worst yum. Worst yum. So I have a two-way tie. And usually I don't allow ties, but he like picks four things. But um, the wasabi, the wasabi chips, and these horrible, horrible veal flavored potato chippy things. No th you know what? Never mind. This is my worst jam. We're not even gonna have a tie. The weird, disgusting smelling bleh, veal potato chips. Who does that? Alright, so you know me. I have a weird palette. I didn't hate any of them. Um, if I were to pick one, I'd probably go with the homemade bread chips, garlic. You and gonna pick one up there? Get your hands uh, off your hoodie. You wanna get arrested? Right. So, the garlic <clears throat> with rye. rye, rye chips with garlic. Yeah. Yeah, creme brulee chocolate is Kate's worst yum. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I didn't hate it. It tastes like a Cadbury. I don't hate Cadburys. Second best. Second Ew. best. First loser. Hmm. 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 I'll let you go first. The um, For me, the second best is the condensed milk cake with the chocolate drizzle on top. I love this. This was so good. Mm -hmm. I, think, I, think I, good. I think I can agree with you on that one. Okay. I know what your best yum is already. Can we talk about that pear, though? <laughs> right. And for me, it's the um, toffee. And I so, love this. I don't even like... Okay, no. We won. I love pears. Pears are delicious. It's not in my, like, top five. Pear is not even in my top five. Top ten, maybe. Wait a minute. Back up. Mm -hmm. Kate, your favorite yum, your best yum is the chocolate wafer cookie? Okay. All right. To each their own. Right. I'm not going to yuck on someone else's yum. All right. Because, like, I don't even like pear like that. And pear was my favorite. Only because it, like, it was like biting into a juicy pear on, like, a summer's day. It is pearlicious. In, 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 a, in a jelly form. It, it's, it's, it's stupid delicious. So good. So All right. Good. Second best. Oh, second best. Okay. Second best is the chocolate wafer cookie. Okay. I can get with that. What's your first best? Mine's still the toffee. Okay. So this was the February Universal Yums. Yum, yum. Yeah, it was. Look at this box. Seriously. Universal Yums. We tried. It wasn't our fault. It snowed forever, and our mail carrier was probably not liking the snow either. That's yeah. probably it. I'm not going to say they were. Yeah. Rah, rah. So it's, it's everywhere. But the snacks from Ukraine, overall, yeah. Rather delicious. Like I, I would, I would definitely hit uh, Ukraine up for some snackies. Mm -hmm. um, overall, I wasn't super disappointed no. with anything. So, and honestly, these jellies might be one of the best like yums ever. Yeah, those things are their life. All right, so Danielle has Minky Binkies for weirdest. Mm -hmm. Worst with the wasabi. 
second best condensed milk cake, right? So good. Best was the bonnie fruit and, and chocolate. bubble chocolate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The bunny, the, these guys were good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, guys. So come back and visit us on Wednesday. We are going to be making um, Creativity Corner Cooks with Snoop's book. We're making Yardy Yardbird, which is a jerk chicken. Never made jerk chicken before? A little nervous. But come mm. hang out with us in the kitchen and and we'll cook. Yeah, we will. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, we are not a paid sponsor of Universal Yums. We do Which it. Could. You could. We, we, yeah, if y'all want to, you know, we want to sponsor. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. right? But uh, no, we're actually paid members. We pay for this. Yeah. Um, just because we enjoy it. It, it. It's a very awesome experience. They have six packs, 12 packs, and 24 packs. This was a 12 pack. Depending how, how you know, how you're We how tried 24 one time, and it's, just, it's hard to get through. Well, no, in actually, one night. actually, Universal Young sent us a 24 pack. So thank you guys Super for sending awesome. that. The end of our first year of subscription service, they right. sent us. Um, a 24 pack and, and wow there's so many snackies in there t at one time I'm yeah. sure it'd be great if you had a month to eat them all right. but I like so, your sweatshirt why thank you I got this at Domwell presents dot shop where was that Domwell presents dot shop check it out we got cool hoodies we got hats we got our 2021 creativity corner mug we got the hoodie to go with these as well. Check them out. Everything helps support us do all these fun, nerdy, creative things that we do here. Yeah. Uh, so check it out. Join our newsletter. We have a monthly newsletter that tells you all types of movie releases, show releases, fun, cool, nerdy stuff hanging out, and all types of uh, other information that we like just to you know share with our community. So I hope you guys are staying warm out there. Hope you guys are remembered to continue social distancing, mm -hmm. wearing your masks, you know, and spreading love. All right, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, follow, share. All that cool stuff. You don't you have guys to spend do. money to support us. No, you don't. You don't. Just you spending some time here with us. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you guys yeah. for tuning in. So, once again, I'm Don Manuel. I'm Debra. This was Creativity Corner. And remember, together we'll do better. Why? For we are one. Yeah, we are. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Meow, meow, meow.